Hey everyone, JCS Starcraft here bringing you game three of the Go for SC2 number 32 finals between Naruto and Muro. So, action getting started here on Zelnaga Caverns. And in the last game, if you saw it, it was really funny that Naruto used a strategy that had been used against him on Delta Quadrant. Muro used the same, almost the same exact strategy. Both of them a little bit cheesy with proxy Raxes being thrown down. Met each other in the middle. And unfortunately for Nero, uh, Naruto, Muro just had one extra SCV in there and was able to gain out that advantage and ultimately get his Marines out first. So, um, very, very fun game uh, from both players. Muro is up 2-0 at this point, spawning as the red Terran in the top right corner, and Naruto spawning as the purple Terran in the bottom left. And it looks like pretty standard opening for Naruto at this point. Both of these players playing on Zelnaga Caverns, one of my favorite uh, maps at the moment to watch just because of all the interesting things that you can do about it. There is this back alleyway down with the grass sitting in front of the natural expansion. The gold is kind of left out wide open as well. Multiple lanes to come in, so a lot more difficult to expand for both players. And right now, Mero going to be going down with the pretty standard. No trickery this time from either players, um, especially not from Naruto, who that completely backfired against in the last game. They both did have a pretty good laugh when they saw that they both had the same strategy in their mind um, running into the middle like that. I'd assume that future Delta Quadrant proxy Raxes might be hidden uh, away from that Zonaga Watchtower <laughs> where I don't think it's very favorable as it's just so easy to scout that area out in the early game. But enough about the previous game, on to this one right now. 12-13 going down for Naruto. Very standard as well. Muro looks like it. he might have gone for that um, refinery. No, it looks like it's about the same on both sides. And uh, first Marine is coming out for both players. Should be interesting to see what's going on. Uh, Naruto, Muro, of course, the, the recent IEM Season 5 champion. Uh, declared the first StarCraft 2 champion. Some great PR for the Intel Extreme Masters and the ESL. Um, able to declare him the very first. Uh, right now, uh, a whole bunch of different con uh, contests are going on. This is the go for SC, the second to last go uh, for SE two cup weekly cup, um, which kind of culminates uh, monthly into I think the top eight go into attorney style to play for a bigger cash prize in the end. I think the weekly cups the cash prize is not really substantial. It might be like. I might be incorrect about this. I'm going to have to look this up after this cast, but anywhere from like 50 to 200 euro. But then the final one is like 800 euro, something really nice or 500 euro for the winner. Uh, plus, it looks great on your StarCraft 2 resume when you win these cups. And actually, I think Murrow Murrow was, strangely enough, an alternate for the IM. He actually replaced Braddock um, getting out that early Reaper right now, but he replaced Braddock because Braddock has some sort of visa issues and couldn't make his way over to Cologne. Um, and Murrow going to be scouting out with this early Reaper, trying to see uh, and possibly getting some damage done as well. Um, so uh, against a, an earlier game in the semifinals, Nama was able to use his Reaper scout to take pick off a few SCVs. And right now it looks like they're evenly matched in speed. This SCV desperately trying to get away, but as soon as it makes an angled turn, doesn't have an infinite amount of map. I'm just going to follow this around until it explodes, but looks like finally going down. And here comes Murrow with his scouting SCV. Now going to be he's going to be doing the one racks fast expansion this game. As I think both players actually going to be doing the same thing. I I think he figures that his opponent was doing the same, so he's going to be comfortable putting that down as well. Not going to be doing a timing attack as the rush distance on this map is just a, a bit larger to, to run across. And looks like this. Reaper already paid for itself, has gotten two kills, just going to go run away on the backside before any damage can befall it. And Naruto going to be making his transfer over to his natural, uh, finally getting down his second gas. One Rax FE, um, there was a uh, closed eyes kind of a thing going on. Not sure why that happened. Um, but anyways, it uh, looks like uh, <laughs> maybe he's tired or maybe not. I am not always sure what that symbol means right now. So. Both of them already made their transfers over. Going to be sat working on saturating their expansions. One Rax FE usually followed up by two or three more, uh, um, two or three more Raxes, and very heavy minerals in the beginning, and then transitioning over to kind of saturating both sides. Uh, Muro hasn't even taken the second gas 
on his main and just going to be working on pumping out. Uh, looks like going to be a whole bunch of Marines coming out at some point too. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like Nato has taken his second gas and is finally getting his third racks down. Uh, getting his orbital on his uh, expo, which Murrow already has, so Murrow is slightly ahead here and has four Marauders out on the map. Looking at the unit composition, Murrow has five Marauders and a single Marine versus the five and three, so not going to be major action going on for quite a bit as both players are waiting to bulk up, and then we're going to see some strong battles going on in the middle. Four racks is going down. Or not until uh, possibly two reactor and two tech labs. Even more going down for Murrow. Murrow, of course, when he was facing the Zerg players, would throw down, just really favor that early Reaper. And it's going to be, oh, this is an interesting strategy by Murrow. He really doesn't want to be attacked on that backside. Uh, I think he's played this map enough to realize that this area is not a fun one. And I like this right here, throwing down the supply depot to get some sort of early warning that something's coming at you. I've also seen sensor towers being posted uh, around this area as well to detect any movement outside of this um, outside of this back runway. Uh, so it looks like Nato has uh, gotten enough and some sort of lag going on right there. But Nato has bulked up enough right now. Going to be moving in. Army count about even. Uh, army sizes about even. It looks like a few more Marines for Moreau because he was a little bit behind in getting that gas and going to be caught a little off guard. Stim going down. Uh, for Murrow, there was, both players I think have, no, Murrow doesn't have Concussive Shell, and was, <laughs> not until not thrilled with his play at that moment, um, that might have been lag actually, I can't, you can't really tell, yep, there we go, uh, you can't really tell in these replays, but a little bit uncharacteristic, and it looks like this entire S, go for, uh, uh, go for, uh, go for SE2 cup was played with lag, Huck was complaining about it, um, I'm not sure, and a few other players were complaining about it as well, and so unfortunately, I, a lot of fingers being pointed this way and that. Yeah, and not, Nato not doesn't want to complain, I think, but because um, I think he was able to take out Huck, and Huck was saying the same thing. But obviously, incredibly frustrating when you're trying to micro and kite your units, and all of a sudden they are all gone. So, yeah, <laughs> Murrow obviously doesn't want to win because of, of the lag spikes in the game. No player wants to win because of that. Every player wants to win on merit and wants their opponents at the best as they can, kicking out pretty much. And a lot of these observers, now Huck made it uh, very interesting in the semifinals. He kicked out everyone. There were zero observers in the game and Huck was complaining about the observers kind of live streaming and like <laughs> that potentially live streaming is causing all sorts of crazy lag going on in games and all sorts of things. So. Murrow going to be pushing in at this point. Unfortunately, because of that exchange, um, I think that Nato is able to catch up. But, you know, in terms of units lost at this point, uh, Nato did lose a, a good chunk more. Most of those were Marauders who got uh, who died in the battle. So things are evening out. I'm not sure if um, Murrow decided to advance and retreat for maybe waiting for the factory to gain some sight, maybe waiting for something to to research he is getting plus uh, plus one shields at this point does already have plus one attack not so waiting to get his plus one attack and maybe was a little bit of a move of sportsmanship right there allowing his opponent to kind of get ready again so that they can do battle justly and honorably and not have lag interference kind of cause any sort of crazy win going to be taking down his gold right now and we will be seeing a massive m and m no medevacs out on the field at all. Both players just going to be walking in with these big balls of armies. And they're comparably sized, so I think it is going to be a battle of the micro. No, it looks like, it looks like um, Nanato is actually ahead right now and wants to take his expansion as well. Or is he going to make an all-in push with every single lap? Wow, just pulling off a ton of SCVs. I think he feels like he's pretty evenly matched at this point. Uh, unfortunately, that medevac getting caught a little bit off, but it will stay alive. And this medevac getting rallied right there just charges in. Murrow now trying to gain, gain, gain some ground with his units, pulling off his SCVs as well. So every unit out on the field, massive battle going down, tons of SCVs. Look at this huge battle going down across. There are medevacs for Murrow, unfortunately. And because of that, Naruto might be in a bit more of trouble as the SCVs did battle it out up top. And... And uh, yes, unfortunately for Naruto, that um, encounter didn't end well for him. 
and just sucks to see that lag kind of affect the game, but that's just the way that it goes. It did help Naruto uh, over a huck and it came back, the karma came back at him. So great game from both players. Um, Murrow wins again. <laughs> and so it takes a number one in this go for SE32 following up his championship win with another weekly cup win. Looking forward to a lot more great play from both of these players. This has been JCS StarCraft and I'm signing off.